free art tour. The free art tour of a mural that's right over here. No? Free art tour? No? Okay. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Let's 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 get let's get started then. I'd like to welcome you all back um, for the free art tour. This has kind of become a twice twice weekly sometimes twice a day kind of kind of thing. It depends. Depends on how I'm feeling. Um, we start right here, and this is um, one of my best friends from college. Um, her name was uh, Missy, and I didn't really know much about her, um, to be honest. I mean, she was my best friend, but we didn't really talk. We didn't talk much because she couldn't really speak, per se. But she used to talk sign language, and I, I could get a lot of it, but at the same time, I didn't know sign language. So it, got really, it was really, really hard. But she always had this kind of look on her face, like, why are you why are you here all the time kind of look. And that was really good because it made me feel like she wanted me to be to be nearby. This right here is actually a representation of um, myself um, when I was a, a small child. Um, not the small child, but the woman. Um, I just really, really thought of myself as maybe, hey, um, what best to represent myself, me holding child, um, just kind of tapping into this Mother Earth kind of kind of motif, of like I hold a baby, uh, and we all kind of do metaphorically. The baby to us kind of speaks to us, yet it can't speak, and so we're listening to a baby that can't talk, and that's kind of like our lives. So this is my representation. As you're going to see, this will come back. Um, I'm very intrigued by uh, by flowers that have eyeballs. I think when you have flowers that have eyeballs, you have a creature that's everything. Um, you can, if a, plant, if a plant could have eyeballs, then, then our world would be very different, but it, they don't have eyeballs. I like this fish because it's playing kind of a violin, a violin with no strings. I mean, I don't even need to explain that to you because what is a violin with no strings, but it's just a piece of wood, right? So a violin with no strings represents music with no sound, and fish are just fish, unless they're land fish, which makes them not fish. As we're coming across, right here, is my picture of, of King Lear. <laughs> Get it? Because he's playing a Lear? No, but seriously, it is King Lear. And um, I happened to draw the Lear because I was trying to make a washboard, but I put the lines the wrong way. And so I don't know if there's a washboard in King Lear, but I think it's kind of assumed um, in, the, in the text. I mean, I'm not a Shakespearean person by any stretch of the imagination. But, um, and here the little girl's like, why don't you give me the washboard? I mean, it's supposed to be a washboard. And here you see the lady. Um, coming out of the house. This is one of our, our good friends, Gwen. She used to come, not out of the house literally, but she was near that house. And she'd come out with flowers. And here she is bigger. She's bigger. And she's trying to give flowers to somebody, but like no one, which actually is a funny story about prom. Like I said, flower eyeballs. Um, probably the most important thing on this whole wall to me is the flower, flower eyeballs. Right here, these are my, my sisters. Um, I never really knew them very well because, um, well, the court said I wasn't allowed to know them. So, but I, I kind of intrigued by them because uh, it turns out they were they were much older and not real. Um, it turns out I had made them up, and that's why I wasn't allowed to to see them and talk to them. But this is what I envision them kind of being. I kind of see this candle. Um, I know we talked about before the Tibetan sense of candles, but here's just a very simple, it's dark and you don't have a flashlight. As we get towards the other end, as you can see, once again, we're kind of over all of this, as you can, can you see all these candles? Over the whole thing, it's kind of a, it's kind of a birthday cake, because my life is a birthday cake. And all these candles, not necessarily represent years, but they represent, well, days, but I mean, there'd be more candles because I've been alive for a lot more more days. It's like, you look at this flower with the eyeball, but I mean, is it a great, am I a great artist? I mean, you can decide. Um, that's for you to decide, not for me to decide, but is it is it crap? Kind of. But does it is it important enough to be created? Most of the time. One of my really good friends um, came through and wanted to write something that represented not necessarily my painting, but represented the moon and the two sea stars, which I thought was deep, because everyone's like, oh, moon, you don't see any sea moons. So, but those are sea stars with a moon. And the moon, the tides, the tides are being pulled together. The tides are being, everything's affected by tides, full moon. So here we have the sea and the, and the moon, 
and this is what he wrote, and the thing is, what is genius about this, is you have to look, you look at every, every other word. So, you go, like, it's like this, mock, you know, mock all as a pain, how, you'd, like, and so if you can, if you can just, if you could actually, he sh what he should have done was probably put something up to block, block the letters, but he didn't. He chose, he chose to actually write them and, and let people decide for themselves. And I was like, people, people won't be able to do that. People won't be able to make that leap. But at the same time, if you do it, you know, it's, it's right there. It's all right there for the, for the taking. So I hope you've enjoyed this free, the free art tour. I really hope that you, you can, can look at, at things and, and, and judge them, but not judge them harshly um, in because you haven't created anything. So what have you done that's, that's so awesome with everything in your life? Remember, remember that when you start to look at art, you say, oh, that's not great. Oh, that finger painting by that, that kid in first grade, it's awful.